Care and Feeding of Werewolves presents The Raven Mini Dragon. Once upon a weeknight dreary, as we pondered, geeked, and queried over many of Nana's volumes of forgotten lore, while we studied, almost napping, suddenly there came a flapping, as of someone's wings a slapping, slapping at our chamber door. It's just Otto, I muttered, slapping at the chamber door, wanting in and nothing more. How clearly I remember, it was in the late December, as the scarring from the embers still grace my hardwood floors. In my innocence, I sighed, stretched, and rubbed my eyes, and wrote the last few lines of notes I'd need before I got the door. A few more clues to find my Nana before I got the door. A regret I'd have forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of adorable wing curtains thrilled me, filled me with acute overload like I'd not seen before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, What is he plotting that he's being so cute for? Silly little boy, what do you think he is being so cute for? Oh, this guy is cuteness galore. Presently, my soul grew stronger as I couldn't stand it any longer. Sir, said I, Sir Autoclave, truly your forgiveness I implore. But the truth is, I was laughing at how cutely you came flapping and so adorably you were slapping, slapping at my chamber door. My apologies at delaying you. Here I opened wide the chamber door. Darkness there, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, a minor irritation burning. Soon again, I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Julia, said I, surely that is someone at my window lattice. Let me see then what there it is, and this mystery explore. There at, he scoffed. Just say this mystery explore. It's probably the wind and nothing more. Open then I flung the shutter, and with many a squawk and flutter, in flew the mini dragon that had been tapping just before. Not the least obeisance made he, not a moment stopped or stayed he, but with an angry haranguing, perched above my chamber door, on the bust of Paracelsus atop my chamber door, perched and spat and set fire to the floor. This chartreuse twerp defiling my floors by way of firing phosphorescent fireballs upon my hardwood floor. Though thy hide is lustrous, thou, said I, are sure not gutless, you destructive, feckless interruption from night's plutonian shore. Tell me why you barged in and set fire to my floor. Tell me that and nothing more. Quoth the mini drag. Shit, it's splattered. I'm getting the fire extinguisher. No, save the books. I'm trying to save the whole house, thank you very much. With my comfy study burning and the anger in me churning, I spoke the incantation to contain the little twerpling as sulfur flames growing tall sent tendrils towards the wall. Magic spread from my hands and the flames were snuffed once more. Magic spread throughout the room and the flames were snuffed once more. Quoth the mini drag. Autoclave, we do not use that kind of language here. 
With fragile wings a-flapping and many a squawk and snapping, Julia grabbed the twisting body of the tiny little bratling. Though his grip was gentle, it may well be made of metal. And Otto chomped upon him with a horrifying crunch. He chomped upon an orcish arm with a horrifying crunch, quoth the half-orc. Oh, we forgot his lunch. Oh, his lunch and tea and supper, too, forgotten in our studying fugue. Though Otto's dramatic reaction was more than slightly rude. His lesson for being uncouth was breaking his front tooth. I repaired the cracked canine as I smelled heating oil and fondue. Julia had deep fried our dinner, shrimp tempura and cheese fondue. Quoth my gallbladder, Brute et tu? Our stomachs now replete, Otto's grumbling subsided. Returning to our studies was dutifully decided. Comforted by lore upon my lap once more. When suddenly there came a slapping, slapping at my chamber door. Tis Otto, I muttered, wanting entrance at my chamber door. Hell with that. Nevermore! Care and Feeding of Werewolves is a podcast distributed by Kerfuffle and Chaos Productions and licensed under a Creative Commons non-commercial attribution share alike 4.0 International. Today's episode was written by Frederick Elmore. Hazel is performed by Brenna Anderson Dowd. Julia is performed by Frederick Elmore. Sound editing by Frederick Elmore. Music by Kevin Elmore. Find us on Facebook at Care and Feeding of Werewolves, tweet us at Care Werewolves, or email us at feedingwerewolves at gmail.com. Please rate and review. All content on the Care and Feeding of Werewolves podcast is fictional and for entertainment purposes only. Content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your doctor or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of an episode. Reliance on any information provided by Care and Feeding of Werewolves, Kerfuffle and Chaos Productions, or anyone involved with the production of this podcast is solely at your own risk. Poe Otto. <laughs> I'm sure he'll never miss a meal again.